Hey, it's Matt DeVries from the same as you.com. Busy construction attorney, father of seven, juggling family, work, and life the same as you. Today's topic is it's a special needs bus. Call it what it is. Give me a few minutes of your time and we'll figure this thing out. So I'm driving Dylan into school this morning, and as we pull up down the main road, there's a bunch of cars in the left hand lane, and that is the first turn into his school and there is a line of buses and that is the normal route in which probably 30 40 buses come to drop off the kids well we go around that lane and go up to the next entrance where his school is and that's where the cars usually taken and on this particular morning as i'm pulling up there's a bus in front of us and just having this candid conversation with dylan i say hey dylan i wonder why there's a bus in this lane when the bus lane is back there and without skipping a beat, Dylan looked at me and he says, well, that's because it's a special needs bus, Dad. And in my sophomoric, childish uh, sense of humor, I said, Dylan, I said, why are you being so mean? He said, why'd you call it a special needs bus? And Dylan looked at me and he said, Dad, I called it a special needs bus because that's what it is. It's a special needs bus. It has special needs kids on it. And uh, we proceeded to turn in. I dropped him off, and um, I started driving off to work. And I, I pull up into the gym, and it's one of those late, late nights last night. And I did not want to work out. I did not want to work out. So I took my stuff into the gym, and I sat down, and I put my shoes on, tie my shoes. And I start to think about all the things that would keep me from working out today. I've got to get into the office because i got to finish a couple things. I... I, I am so tired. This is going to hurt my body. Um, this is actually not healthy for me if I were to work out. And then the special needs bus popped in my mind. And I started to think, why don't we just call it what it is? And I, I just looked at myself right there and I said, Matt, you're lazy. You're lazy. That's what it is. You're lazy and you don't want to do the work. And this morning, you're, you're starting to listen to this voice telling you that there's all these other reasons why you don't need to work out. But let's call it what it is. You're lazy. And so I started thinking, where else in my life? Let me ask you, where in your life are you not calling it what it is? Maybe it's, maybe it's fitness for you. Maybe, maybe you've heard the word, oh, uh, I've got the fat gene. My body's predisposed to this. Have you ever thought that maybe it's what you're eating? Have you ever thought that it's maybe you're not working out? Have you ever, you know, sat in your office and, you know, sitting here at trick-or-treat time, we pull one of these things out and we say, oh, it, it, it's candy from home. I just, I've got to get rid of it because it, it's left over. Or maybe this little thing will just give me the pep of energy. Hey, how about this little thing is going to keep you from getting what you want? If you want fitness in your life, this thing's not going to do it. This may be. This, even better. So, where is it? Are you not calling it what it is? Maybe it's your relationship with God. Have you ever sat there, lonely, tired, scared, afraid? Screaming out to God, saying, I wish I could hear you. I wish I could hear you. God doesn't exist. Maybe he was in my life one time, but he's no longer there. I wish you would talk to me, God. I wish you would provide me answers. Hey, let's call it it is. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you taking the time? Are you setting time aside for your relationship with God to listen to what he's saying? Let's get a little more personal, men and women. What about your relationship with your spouse? How many times are we justifying what we're doing? Oh, he did X so I can do this. She did Y, so I can do this. Let's call it like it is. You see, we need to understand that we can't control them. We can't control them, but we control ourselves. And so our actions should not be dependent upon what they're doing. Let's call it like it is. If I'm not being the leader in my family, it's because I'm not being the leader in my family. It has nothing to do with what they're doing. If you're not helping your spouse out, it's not because of their failure to do something, it's because you're choosing not to help your spouse out with your kids. If you're not reaching out, if you're not loving on them, if you're not investing on them, 
Is it because they're bad kids? No, it's because you're choosing not to do what you need to do. So today, I want us to look at things a little different. I want you to look where in your life are you not calling it what it is. Because when you stop lying, when you get out of the way of yourself, you can have freedom than to put in work and start pursuing what you want to do. But stop lying and call it what it is. In this case, it's a special needs bus because that's what it is. I call it a special needs bus. Dylan, thanks for this lesson this morning. Thank you so much, son. I want you to go to www.sameasyou.com. Leave a note, leave a message, share these videos. Thanks and have a great weekend.